today's video, we're out in beautiful nature. There's lots of birds, beautiful scenery. There's great shots to get with some new lenses that I've acquired. Now, the lenses that we're testing on the Canon EOS M are EFM mount lenses. So they're made for the EOS M series cameras like the M50, the M6 Mark II. So the first lens I have with me is the Canon 11 to 22 mil. It's a stabilized lens. I've also got the Pancake, the 22 mil F2 lens. It's a famous lens amongst EOS M users. And so I'm very excited to try that one out. And then I've got a Canon 55 to 200 mil. You know, these are not the cheapest lenses. The Pancake is, it runs for around 190 bucks, uh, but these ones go for around 250 to $350. Well, we're gonna test these out, see how they play out in nature. We're gonna shoot some nice raw video on the Canon EOS M. And I've got a power bank over here, so this should run for hours. So without further ado, let's go ahead, test these lenses out and see how well they do with the Canon EOS M. Let's go. All right, so right now, we're gonna cross that bridge. We're gonna head over to a main Yarra Trail and we're gonna test out the 11 to 22 EFM lens as well as the Canon Pancake 22 mil. Super windy, let's go. So I'm shooting 2.8K raw on the 11 to 22. I have to say, this bridge is absolutely phenomenal. There's lots of great shots to get here. The Canon 11-22 is a phenomenal lens. The stabilization is around 3.5 stops. For 2.8K, 2.5K, you have the large crop factors. So with this lens, I'm mostly shooting at 11 mil just to get a nice wide field of view. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh, just pulled a pancake lens out of my pocket. This is the Canon 22mm f2. It's known for such a small size. I'm going to put it on the Canon M and we're going to just test it out over there. There's lots of great sceneries here. I mean, heaps and heaps of wildlife, but look at this. Just switching over lenses like that. Nice and compact. And that is absolutely tiny. Let's test it out. So I've just switched to the 55 to 200. It's a nice stabilized lens, around 3.5 stops of stabilization. There's lots of birds flying around. We've got some kookaburras and colorful birds. Uh, so I think this will be a great lens to test with Magic Lantern Raw on the Canon USM. We're shooting 2.5K by the way. Sometimes I might do 2.8K for that cinematic look with the black bars, but uh, 2.5K mostly. Alright, so there's some colourful birds out there. They know I'm here and they'll fly away if I move. I'm shooting 2.5k with a 55 to 200 mil. So I've been hiding and ducking under grass and here it says caution, snakes. I've got to be careful, anything could happen. All right, so I've switched to 11 to 22. Nice wide field of view, 2.5K. With this 11 to 22, I can get nice close focus, which is fantastic. I 
have to say that I'm really enjoying this rig. I'll talk about it in my next video, uh, but it's just a power bank with a nice small rig base plate, small rig top handle, and a canvate cage. It's just a great counterbalance. You can adjust it like this. And when you're focusing and just trying to record your shots, it just feels so good. Uh, the stabilization is working fantastic along with the lenses. So it's just a great package, a nice compact package with compact lenses. I'm loving all three of these lenses, but I think the 11 to 22 mil would probably be my favorite walk around lens. Uh, the 22 pancake is great, but there's no stabilization. And I mean, with the crop modes, you know, the 2.5K crops uh, in the 2.8K modes as well, I just find 11 mil is wide enough. It's good enough for an all around field of view. So 11 to 22 mil is a great pick. This is a bit steep for my sandals. Man, it's all just trees. My pockets are full. I've got all these lenses in my pocket, but they're nice and compact. No way could I do that with cinema glass or like Samyang or Canon Owl or something. All right, so this road's pretty continuous. Don't even know where I'm going, really. I've got the 11 to 22 mil on. There's lots of landscapes and shots to get. As for birds, it's pretty much nothing. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Just gotta keep going. All right, Ben, we need to make sure we're on track. Where about are we? Um, no, no signal. We're across the Yarra River. We need to get closer towards it. So this path looks like it's diverging. All right, so we'll just keep going along this way. Mm. So I've got a CPL filter on and so that pretty much cuts highlights from like you know poles, uh, water, windows, even logs like this. Having a CPL filter, a polarizing filter, is just an absolute beast. I've got it on my 11 to 22 and it's working marvelously. All right so this is a CPL filter and I'm gonna just twist it and you can see the highlights going away. Oh yeah! All right, so I'm testing the sun flare of this lens, this 11 to 22. Here we go. All right, so I'm taking some photos with the pancake lens, F2, and I'm just trying to check for bokeh and sharpness overall at F2. This is all manual photos, by the way. None of this is autofocus. You won't believe how close I can focus with this 22 pancake lens. It's almost macro like. This place is absolutely remarkable. There's so much things to record here. It's like a cliff. Got my pancake 22 mil, and I'm just trying to get the right shot with this little guy. All right, 2.8K raw F11. All right guys, so we've made it back finally. Finally. Got some great shots with these lenses. And right now we're gonna have a barbecue. We're gonna get the barbecue set up and then we're gonna go kayaking. And so that's when I'll pop on the 11 to 22, get some stabilized shots and just see what we can get from this adventure. Let's go. All right, so we just found a barbecue. We've got to get nice and clean. We're gonna cook some uh, potato wraps, I reckon. And then we'll go kayaking. You bet. While Ben's uh, cooking the food, I'm gonna go test out the 55 to 200 on the Canon US M. And for a zoom lens, look how compact that looks. Like seriously, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Let's test it out.
So I have to say, I started the day with like 96% on the Canadios M with this power bank. Right now it's on 72%. I've been shooting for almost a whole day. It's like 4 p.m. We got here about 9.30 a.m. So power bank's best way to go, in my opinion, for the Canadios M. I've been testing out the 55 to 200, got some phenomenal shots. Uh, the Pancake 22 mil is also great with the F2 aperture. Uh, I've been stopping it down because I just prefer not to use an ND filter if I don't have to. Uh, but all in all, I'm getting some great shots with these EFM lenses. I can highly recommend it to you guys. I mean, if you want a nice compact setup, it's what you're going to get with these compact lenses, obviously. So I think the barbecue is ready. It's time to eat. And then if, if the sun doesn't go away, we can probably go some boat paddling and kayaking and stuff like that. Let's go. All right, so we're on the gentleman's boat and we've skipped the kayaks uh, just for today. The sun is still out, which is fantastic. It hasn't gone down yet. Uh, I've shot some scenes with the 11 to 22 and I'm gonna switch over to the Pancake, the 22 mil F2, because I'm um, finding some scenes it's a bit too dark with the 11 to 22. I mean, the aperture's not that far. So this little Pancake lens is gonna do the trick. So I'm gonna swap over right now. I've also got the Osmo action over here. This is just getting the action. You know, it speaks for itself. So we'll see what footage we can get out of that as well. I switched back to the 11 to 22 mil. Uh, the pancake was great, uh, but I just need some stabilization right now. Getting these ducks at the 55 to 200. All right guys, we're done for the day. The sun's just about gone. I mean, I've just had a great day testing out these three lenses. That's what you do when you get some new glass. You gotta put them out to the test. So the 22 mil pancake lens, a super tiny one, really enjoy this guy. The 55 to 200, really great bird shots with this. And the 11 to 22 are great for establishing scene shots and just a wide field of view. I really enjoyed every one of these lenses. Uh, my favorite would probably have to be the 55 to 200 along with the 11 to 22. The 22 mil is fantastic as well, but I just felt like I needed stabilization, especially in the high crop modes uh, with the Canadios M. I mean, in the low light situations, no doubt, or the depth of field, the 22 pancake is an absolute gem. Uh, all of these are great in their own respect, but I just found that I was taking out the 55 to 200 and the 11 to 22 more. Uh, but all in all, you can't go wrong with any of these. Check the footage, see which one you like, which lens you enjoyed more, and uh, let me know in the comments below of what you think about them. So, day's done. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Right now, I'm gonna go record some ducks. See you guys.